Hey guys, it's David from mdbootstrap.com and in this video I'm gonna teach you how to use the newest Bootstrap 5 grid system. Now, regardless whether you're already familiar with grid system from a previous version, which is Bootstrap 4, or you are new to Bootstrap, you're gonna find everything you need in this video. We're gonna compare what has changed uh, in a grid system between Bootstrap 4 and Bootstrap 5 as well as we're gonna build everything from scratch so you could learn if you haven't worked with Bootstrap before. Now before we start don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss more tutorials like this and now let's get started. Okay guys, so let's start coding. We're gonna start with the installation and obviously there are multiple ways to install Bootstrap. So we can, we can use NPM to do so, we can use Gulp and other um, ways, but for today I'm gonna show you a classic way of downloading the CSS and JS asset files. Now, I need to make a note here because at this very moment when I'm creating this tutorial, the bootstrap docs page aren't released yet and there is no like you know page I could give you a link to download our newest newest bootstrap. When you were watching this, probably this 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 will be already there, but as for as for now, I've just created this page uh, here so you can find this link in description below so go to description open this link and I, I have this page for you where I will be linking the latest version of the bootstrap obviously you can also get it from the bootstrap docs but if this is not there yet or it's just easier for you you can go to description go there and here you will find this page it might look a little bit different so uh, it might change in the future but there will be always this download button and this download button will get you the newest version of bootstrap so first as for today we have this 5.0 alpha 1 so I'm gonna download it I'm gonna click download oh, and it's downloading here so um, I'm gonna open this now uh, go to downloads oh, it's still downloading okay so here it is I'm gonna um, unzip it I'm gonna rename it to BS5 uh, so if you go inside and then again for today there are just CSS and JS folder so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open this project in Visual Studio Code and I'm gonna create an uh, index HTML file manually uh, so if you if you have the same there is no this index just create it and now I'm gonna press an exclamation mark and press tab this will create um, this will provide me a basic HTML structure of my page and let's change title to something like bootstrap five crash course okay so what we have to do now obviously we have to link our um, style sheet so let's type link and pr provide link to css bootstrap css now what we also need to do um, uh, at the end of the our body tag we have to import js and we need two things so first dependency uh, and only as for now because as you know jQuery isn't dependency anymore it's a popper so I'm gonna download this from CDN so I'm gonna put the link uh, in the description for you or you can uh, or you can just google it so it's the newest version of popper 240 as for today and I'm gonna link our JS so let's have a look at this script um, source equals to JS bootstrap JS Okay, and that will do. Let's put some heading over here. Uh, hello, bootstrap word. Let's save it. Let's run it and let's see if this works. Okay, I can already see this typical font for bootstrap. And yeah, there are no errors, so we are ready to go. Okay, guys, so let's now talk about the most crucial component. I think the most important one <clears throat> which made bootstrap so famous which is obviously a bootstrap grid so for the for those of you who already know bootstrap grid i'm just gonna cover um, some differences between bootstrap um, 4 and 5 and for those who don't know what it is i'm also gonna explain exactly uh, what it is and how to use it so um, in general bootstrap grid is a tool which allows us to uh, create layouts which you can see on these two pictures right so long story make short this um, tool allows you to create a different layout for um, different devices depending on the screen size so as you can see on the right top corner we have a layout for desktop where we have like 
more plays, we have some margins, so we can set a um, few boxes next to each other because we have a plenty of space to display them and they will be still perfectly visible. While on the mobile devices where there is not as much space on desktop, then it, we would rather use the full width of, um, of the device. So that's uh, what we can do with use of Bootstrap Grid. Now, in a nutshell, how it works, it uses uh, three main components. So it uses container, uh, actually containers, rows and columns. So within containers, we put rows, the violet one, and then inside the rows, we are putting column or columns multiple. Um, so now the next important thing to know about Bootstrap Grid are Bootstrap uh, breakpoints. So these are the places, uh, as you can see, so these are the dimensions um, of our screen, which um, which kind of split our uh, layout. So we can we can have as many layouts as break as breakpoints you uh, you can see. So we can have different layout for uh, extra small devices, which are from zero to five hundred sixty pixels, small, medium, large, extra large, and extra extra large. And these are the breakpoints. So this is the screen size after or below each the layout will change. And let's let have a look at example because this will hopefully explain everything to you. So let's start with the example number one. Um, and by the way, don't worry, we're gonna learn in the next part of this tutorial in a couple of seconds how to build this from scratch. For now, I just want you to see how it works. So example number one, very obvious and very common uh, layout. So for some kind of block or whatsoever, we have a main column with content and we have a sidebar. And now when we start shrinking this um, screen size, you can see the screen size here in the top corner. When we start shrinking this, it will get smaller and smaller and smaller. And once we reach one of the breakpoints, which is 764, it will change layout. So now these two columns are one below the other. And this is obviously because as we've seen here, this is the 768 actually uh, pixels medium screen size, which was defined for this layout to change. Second option shows a, a little bit more complex one. So we have like header and some articles and footer. And then, and then again, if we make this screen smaller, it will just get nested one below the other. And finally, um, to explain you how the grids work, um, let me just let me just tell you that, um, uh, as you already know, uh, grid consists of of container rows and columns, and um, each column can have size size from one to twelve. And what does it mean? Actually, you can see it here. So we can have within within a row, we can have either one column which is uh, with size of twelve. Uh, which is 12 width, uh, I don't know what, this is 12 units, some units width, or it can have any other size from 1 to 12. The whole idea is that in one row, we cannot have more than 12 altogether. So what we can have here, we can have either 12 columns like we see here. So we have 12 multiplied by 1, which gives 12 in result. And then when I'm going to start shrinking this, um, you're going to see a different behavior and this is because we can apply multiple size to the same div so this div depending on the breakpoint has a different size so it's, it will have size 1 2 3 4 6 or 12 columns and let's see how it works so i'm gonna start shrinking so now when i reach next breakpoint so we've been to um, extra extra large and now we move to to large uh, sorry to extra large so that was double and this is just extra large and in extra large, our column has size of two. And as a result, we can fit only six of columns next to each other and the remaining six will go underneath. So now let's continue shrinking. Now, after next breakpoint, our columns uh, have size three. So then again, since it's three, we can fit just four elements, three times four gives 12, and then remaining goes underneath. Let's continue shrinking. Now our size is four, so then we can just fit three columns next to each other. Um, and obviously they are getting wider, right? Um, relatively wider to, to our screen. Now, when we reach next one, 
we can just uh, fit two columns because size of each column is six. And finally, when we don't have enough space, we want to our our column to take all twelve, um, uh, all all width with the size of twelve. Okay, so now let's uh, quickly go through changes in grid from Bootstrap 4 to Bootstrap 5. So then again, we already said that there is new uh, extra extra large size int introduced. There is this gutter class which has been replaced with G star and we're gonna see how to use it just in a few seconds. Uh, and there are a few other um, changes which we're gonna see right now. I prepared two classes here, so we can color um, uh, our calls and containers um, so that you could see easily what the size is. Let me maximize this one, or actually let's put, put it this windows aside so we can see it. So let's start with container. So the basic container uh, is element which allows us to center uh, elements on the page. So as you can see by default, we have margins over here. We can obviously use something which you already know from Bootstrap 4. So container, container fluid will take the full width, um, the full width on available. But what is new here is that we can decide um, container and the breakpoint, like MD for example. So this will get the full width until the breakpoint. So if I'm gonna shrink this, so now it's taking the full width and for the smaller screens, but uh, once I reach medium breakpoint, then it will change to a normal container. Okay, so this is about the containers. Now let's talk about um, uh, talk about the rows and um, and columns. So let me also get rid of this style as we don't need to see it right now, I will leave the coloring for column. So basically, as I mentioned before, we use rows um, to um, aggregate columns and with um, we have few options to use uh, grid. Uh, so for example, um, what we can do, we can specify uh, divs. Um, let's say three divs with um, class call sm and this will be like one well, number one two and a three and let's save it and we have them here so if we're not going to specify this um uh, the size of the column it will automatically try to calculate so in this case it will just take size of four one because we have three elements so 12 divide by uh, divide bar by uh, four will obviously give us three. Now, what we can do, we can mix it. So in the second row, we can, for example, just have two of them and Bootstrap would take, off, take care of the calculation. So this works uh, pretty easily. But obviously, um, more often, what you wanna do, you want to define this size uh, on your own. So let's do it right now. Let's do this example, which you've seen before. Um, so let's do call MD. Eight. So the MD is going to be medium size, it's going to be our um, breakpoint, and it's like main content, main. And let's create another one for um, uh, for um, sidebar. So four. And here we have this sidebar. And now when we shrink it, it will go one below the other. Okay, now, and so we can create very, very, very complex structure. Um, and so um, we're gonna probably have another tutorial on this one specifically, but for now, I hope you got the good understanding of how it works and how powerful it is. Let's just talk about something which has changed in Bootstrap 5, uh, which are gutters. So uh, what we can do here, and let me just use an example from, uh, from, um, uh, from, uh, docs. Um, so if you're gonna have a look at this one, um, we have this gutter X set to five here, and this is giving us this space here. Let's see what's gonna change if I'm gonna adjust it to one. So I hope you can see how this spacing between this element here inside our call is changing. Um, 
when we change, when we adjust um, the gutters. Obviously, this one is in X axis, and we can do the same in the, um, in the second uh, axis, Y axis. So let's have a look at this one. So this is this space between rows, right? One, two, three, four, and finally five. And that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you're going to find it useful. And if you enjoy it, please leave a like below this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we are preparing more for you. And very soon you're going to see new tutorials on Bootstrap 5 regarding um, different technologies like how to use Bootstrap 5 with Node.js, PHP, Laravel, Ruby and so on and so on. So if you not if you don't want to miss it, don't forget to subscribe and turn notification on. Thank you and see you in the next video.